Um, so we now know that Lampard has gone from yep. Everton and we now know that first choice, we're reliably informed, of Farhad Mashiri's is Marcello Bielsa. What's your take on that? Would you be going after Bielsa at this particular time? Um, you've got to look at a group of players and find out what they would best respond to because what you've got is pretty much what you've got. There might be a few changes. I don't see Everton have got an inordinate amount of money to spray around for a variety of reasons, whether it's because they're under special measures from the Premier League to control what they can and can't spend against their losses, yeah. or whether it's they simply don't have any more cash because people have turned the tap on. Somewhere in the middle will be the, will be the truth on that. I don't see them spending inordinate amounts of money. They're bringing in a couple of players, but he's got to go with what he's got. Now, if you believe that Bielsa has the capability, linguistically, because don't forget, it takes him time to get his message across, because first of all, he's got the language challenge, and second of all, he's got the culture. If you believe that those two things are going to get these players up and at it, because half of the battle they've got is these players are as much of the problem as everybody else. If they get a pass, and a few of them get challenged in the car park, and everyone's outraged, oh no, the players are getting challenged, but it's those guys that go out on the pitch. And if you believe Bielsa can get them front and centre facing the right way, and you believe that that kind of motivation and that kind of dynamism is going to get you out of the problems you've got for the next four months, then yes, I'm not sure. I would be more inclined, and people can say it's formulaic and perhaps a little bit lazy in its thinking, but I'd be more inclined to go for Sean Dyche but I think Everton's a shambles. So if I'm Sean Dyche and I'm looking at that and go, not Everton as a club for the full supporters, by the way, but Everton in the way it's being run at this moment in time from recruitment to what's going on at the very top of the tree, yeah. that's the shambles I'm referring to. Yes, yes. I would be looking at it going, what do I need this for? What do I need this for? And if you follow the if you follow the school of thinking and are willing to wager you, they probably want to give people short, short-term contracts. So I'll tell you what, come in and do the job for us and we'll see how it goes along. If I'm a Premier League manager, I'll be going... Why would I want that? Do you well, think that's what Mishiri's doing at the moment, I, I, Simon? I, I, handing out six months. I wouldn't be surprised. We said yesterday, you know, I don't think Mashiri in football terms can find his backside with both hands in a funnel. And I think there's no reason to believe that there's not going to be some, some complexity and difficulty to what he's doing next. Now, you blame the board, you blame whoever else. They're all in this mix for the decision-making process. But, you know, we said this yesterday. We debated it and we pontificated it. A week ago, Mashiri comes on and says, Frank Lampard's the man. You said, surely he can't go back on it. I said, of course he's going to go back on it. Of course he's going to go back on it. Because, you know, he doesn't start with an idea, so how's he going to get one along the line? Yeah. So with that in mind, Bielsa, you know, if you ask the Leeds fans and you ask people around Bielsa, he will be lauded and applauded because he got Leeds out of a 17-year slump. Mm. But he would have got Leeds relegated as well. Right, right. OK. Well, Bielsa said to be the number one target. Um, maybe Deitch is in the mix so far. As far as I gather, uh, by mid-afternoon to late afternoon yesterday, there had been no approach um, to Deitch's people, but maybe that is changing. Who knows? But one question I will put out there now this morning, I know it won't be a popular one amongst Everton fans, but with Premier League safety now, the number one priority... Is it time for Evertonians to shelve the board protests and concentrate on getting behind the team when the team comes back to play again? And of course, the games that are coming up are tough in themselves, starting with uh, Arsenal at Goodison. Is it time for the Everton fans to shelve the board protests? Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.